everybody, Mayor Dan Tolan here. Time for another weekly update. Well, here we are, a week off from the general election. It's been a long haul, I know, but we're getting very close to the finish line. And remember, no matter what happens, the sun will come up the next day and we will still be a caring and compassionate community. So as we move on, if you wish to vote early and in person, you can do that at City Hall through this coming Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're looking forward to voting on Election Day, November 3rd, we are ready for you. City staff have been working hard to ensure that voting at each of the city's polling locations is as efficient and as safe as possible. When you come to vote, please remember to wear a mask, maintain a six-foot distance from poll workers and fellow voters. To check your polling location, visit myvote.wi.gov. Remember, completed ballots are due at City Hall by 8 p.m. on November 3rd. There is a safe drop box in the main parking lot available 24 hours, 7 days a week, as well as one in the City Hall lobby available during business hours. Remember, we cannot accept a ballot that is returned at a polling location. Now let's look at the weekly COVID-19 case numbers. In the first slide, you will see that Pierce County has 90 active cases, which is an increase of 16 since last week. The cumulative case total for the county is 689, and the activity level is currently high. In the next slide, you can see that St. Croix County has 788 active cases, which is an increase of 140 since last week. The cumulative case total is now nearly 1,800. St. Croix County's activity level is also high. Slide 3 shows us that there are over 40, 41,000 cases in Wisconsin, which is an increase of 5,700 cases since last week. On slide 4, you'll see that Pierce County continues to be able to contact new cases within 24 hours. However, like last week, they are not able to trace all close contacts within 24 hours. I also want to let you know that new testing sites have been added in both St. Croix and Pierce Counties. You can find links to testing site information at the city's COVID-19 webpage found at the address below. Some of the sites require that you have COVID-like symptoms or have been exposed to the virus before you can get tested. Others do not, so please read the information carefully. Cases at UWRF are holding steady, with 20 new active cases and four students in isolation. The school district closed Rocky Branch Elementary beginning today through November 6th to avoid an outbreak in the building after several staff tested positive for COVID-19, which was likely passed among staff in the building. Teachers will continue to teach remotely during this two-week closure. The district is doing all it can to mitigate the virus in our fall schools. They have followed strict protocols for quarantining and contact tracing as cases and exposures are known. To see their weekly snapshot, of COVID-19 activity, visit the web page below. I would like to thank our administrators, educators, parents, and students who have worked hard to not only contain the spread of COVID-19 in our buildings, but have also found new ways to teach and learn online. It has not been easy, and so far our schools, college, and university have risen to the task, and I know the community joins me in thanking them. Now on to some other news. As you probably know, especially if you have kids, Halloween is this Saturday. I encourage you to check out the several contactless trick-or-treating opportunities around town, including drive through events at the library and Chamber of Commerce on Saturday from 3 to 6 p.m. Visit the city's COVID-19 webpage for links to these and other Halloween events in the area. Remember to take a picture of your little ghost and goblins so I can feature them in my video next week. On our webpage, you can also find links for safe Halloween celebration ideas offered by the CDC and Wisconsin Department of Health Services. If you've entered or exited River Falls from Division Street, you're likely to have used the new jug handle ramp. I know it'll take a bit of getting used to, so please drive safely as you get to know the new traffic patterns. This ramp will prevent left turns across highway traffic, which will make Highway 35 a much safer corridor. I want to thank the state for completing the project in record time and for our city staff who orchestrated the project. We anticipated that signage will be completed soon and that new lighting will be installed later next month. I want to remind you that odd even parking goes into effect on Sunday, November 1st. If you're new to town or just need a fresher, 
Check out parking instructions at the website below. Now I want to leave you with some cute pet pictures. This week's Pets of the Week are getting ready for the holiday weekend. First we have winter. Next is Christmas. And last but not least is Julius. Please email me a picture of your favorite pet and I will include it in an upcoming video. And do not hesitate to reach out to me at any time if you have questions or comments on any subject. I always want to hear from you. And you can find me at dtoland at rfcity.org. And I want everybody to be safe and take care and enjoy the nice weather coming up. We'll see you next week. Bye now. Oh, and go Pack Go!